So Jeff and I got permission to do like a 1928 house. We've only been here a few minutes. He's saying he just popped a war nickel. Let's see here. I'm pretty sure it is. Yep, it's an S. Yeah, so for those of you who don't know, if you have the mint mark above the Monticello, then it's for sure a war nickel. Let's see what date it is. 19, 1943. Man, I got a pretty deep squeaker here. This could be something good. So Jeff, I guess, not only did he get that silver quarter, or that silver nickel, excuse me, but I guess he got a wheat penny already. I have got a few old bullets is all, but they're definitely turn of the century bullets. So that's cool. Don't wanna hit it. If it's silver, of course. Oh yeah, there it is. Silver, live dig. What do we got? Got a rosy. All right, sweet. Good start. Man, we're just killing it. We've only been here like five, ten minutes. Just got two Wheaties now, but he also just pulled a buffalo. Oh, He's saying, see if I can see a date. That's awesome, man. Man, it's been so long since I did a yard. Dude, I, it has been a while for both of us. I'm always out in the homesteads or lake bottoms. This one. Looks like a not readable date at the moment. Yeah. That's all right though. That's a lot of them. Hey, it's still got a pretty nice face on there though. Yeah. yeah let's see if we can. Cool. Yeah, look at that, it's even kind of still shiny. Yeah. A nice uh, sandy Montana soil. Ha, ah, pretty cool. cool. Sweet man. All right. So I just dug this. Oh, Boy. Got a silver dime. <laughs> Don't know what it is. Okay, let me come. Yeah, I don't know what this little relic is. Huh? Made a little relic here. I'm not sure what that thing is. What do you think that is? That's weird looking. It's a door. It's a door off of a car. Oh, yeah, yeah. So it's... <laughs> Good eye. All right. He let's... says he's got this over time here, though. Pretty sure it is. What do we got? What I'm hoping it's a Merc. I'm hoping it's a barber. Huh? I hope it's a barber. That's a barber. Nah, that's a, that's a rosy. 59. I mean a rosy, yeah, sorry. <laughs> oh, well. Jeff Scott. I think it's crap. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> huh? For a second, that color is like button or something. Bazinga. Jeff's got more silver. I think. Kind of looks like it. I think it's another another rosy. Yep. Well, that's definitely silver. Good job, man. How many is that? Two? Two. Yeah. Well, uh, and I got one, and then you got two. And I got a war nickel. Oh, you got a war nickel. So you got and three silvers and a buffalo. Nice. Cool. I'm pretty sure this is Canadian. It says one cent. 1928, but it's so crusty, I can't tell for sure. I don't know what other country says one cent on the back. Dude, that's so cool. Good job. Nice skeleton key. Dang. Now, I've only found two. Awesome, man. That's pretty neat, huh? Yeah. All right, Dinwiddie and I, we're doing a... Uh, what I like to call Boulder Beach. So hopefully, I don't know. It's be it. this, this beach is a little bit of a pain in the butt, but uh, no, we're hoping uh, there's a ring or something hiding in one of these crevices behind these boulders. Well, this is definitely one spot. I don't think you could get everything. Look at that, quarter. 
Yeah, so that's kind of fun and interesting, though, to dig in these boulders. There's a dime. Looks like there's hope. Maybe there's some jewelry left behind. Penny. All right, dime. Penny. Well, that had me going for a second. Saw some gold in the rocks. Not quite. I think I just found me some earbuds. See what we got. They're in there. Poor guy. Oh well. Oh man. I might have a piece of silver here. Look at that. You know what? That was ringing up a zinc penny. And that right there is Dinwiddie's uh, dig hole. You didn't hear it or passed or something. That's definitely got a mark. Let me see what it says. All right, I'm gonna call this hunt a success already. I mean, I've hammered this place for a couple of years. Although there's no way you're gonna get everything out of these boulders. You'd have to come down here and move them all. But, you know, the theory is I'm hoping, well, not only do people swim here, but maybe the waves will pull stuff through every year. That looks like it's been here a little while. It's got some nice tarnish on it, so. Hey, let's keep going. <laughs> You skipped a penny. This yeah. was this was found like five inches for one of your dig holes. Uh, oh, sweet. A little sterling earring. That's beautiful. I didn't hear it. <laughs> I would have dug it. I know. You, get, you I can't got, find everything, but... I got a 62 penny. <laughs> and a quarter. And a Canadian 82 penny. So you're finding stuff. I'm finding stuff. Well, hey, you know what they say, where there's clad, there's jewelry. Yeah. And sometimes there's jewelry right next to the clad you dug. Yeah, that's probably where I dug the penny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there's quite a few pennies I didn't show you. I had me going for a second, though. Yeah, I love them nickel sounds. That could have been a gold ring. Is it just me, or are these rocks starting to have faces? It's definitely a wheat. Dinwiddie got some wheat. <laughs> Took all day. Looks <laughs> like <laughs> so got me an earring. Let me wash this sucker up. I think it's gonna be bling. Well, it's blingy, all right. That's cool though. We're onto some jewelry. Well, looks like I got a little wave toe ring. That's cool. But this was ringing up like a six or a seven, so. It's definitely not going to be silver, and it doesn't look like gold to me, so going to bling. Hey, looks like I got me an old ugly bracelet here. Let me clean it up. Maybe it's silver or something. Crazy. All right, <laughs> that is definitely not precious, but that thing's rough. Cool though. It's got like a little. A little hard on it. Nice. Look at that, I snagged a weedy. I've been trying to get a date off of it. I think it might say 41. I don't know. Gross, that's a gauge. <laughs> yeah. Those are almost never good. This is ringing up at 10, so it's definitely going to be stainless for the size. There's no way that's anything else. Well, this was coming up an 8. Looks like somebody made a homemade ring. Looks like a homemade ring or something. So I'm using my little coil. Trying to get in between all the rocks and the nails and everything. It's working pretty good. There's been a lot of clad I haven't shown you guys. But I'm, you know, I have got a lot of old stuff off this beach. But hey, here's an old button. Well, 
Looks like I got me a real old antique ring here. Looks like I used to have a little gold plating on there or something. Huh. I think it might have broke off, but I think it used to be a horseshoe. That's what it was, a horseshoe ring. So that looks like a really old pendant or charm or something. But, whatever it was, I think either fell off the front there or... Yeah, it's probably on the front. I don't think it was seated in the back. That's old though. Well, I'm not sure what that is. It's a heart. <laughs> I don't know if that's a part of a makeup case or what that is. Under that boulder right there. Oh, I can't believe it. This is one of the few beaches I have not got a gold ring off. And I'm saying without even... Oh yeah, that's gold. That is gold, baby. That's what we do this for. Awesome. Uh, let me uh let me see if it has a mark i mean it's not big but that's gold all right that's my first montana gold of the year it says 10k in there I mean, it's probably only a gram or two so it's not a lot but gold is at an all-time high right now but the cool thing is that We've been battling these boulders, just hoping this would happen, and it did. And that was a nine, so nine on the Equinox. So if you're not digging those low numbers, guys, you're passing up little gold like this. Now, Dinwiddie just got a heart. Oh, look, there's like a little door latch right there. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. It's a little different than mine, I think. That's weird. Well, I thought I was going to get a penny, but it turns out to be a, a game token. It's got a gesture on one side and says no cash value on the other. Well, that was a fun little hunt. A couple different days. Dang. That definitely uh, exceeded my expectation. Most of these little spots are been hammered for years and years so i'm super happy with it hope you guys enjoyed it see you on the next one